In the early days of the 20th century, Alberto Gerchunov was the first Jewish immigrant author in Argentina who wrote in a local language, Spanish, instead of Yiddish. His philosophy was about integration while maintaining the Jewish heritage. His first complete biography was recently presented at the Jewish Book Fair in Buenos Aires. Ricardo Feierstein is a writer and a specialist of Jewish Argentine literature. His latest work, the first complete biography of Alberto Gerchunov, was published last month. In the book, Feierstein tells us the story of six-year-old Alberto discovering Argentina with his family as they escaped from the Russian Empire in 1889. Only a few weeks after their arrival in a Jewish colony, Gerchunov's father is killed by a drunken gaucho. Interestingly, years later, he will use the gaucho character for the title of his most famous book, The Jewish Gauchos. So what does Gertrunov do? Well, he says, we will speak about the gaucho, but about the Jewish gaucho, the one from the colonies. So in 1910, he writes his first book, The Jewish Gauchos, which will be his most famous work. It is about reuniting in only one character, the traditional gaucho from the Argentine Pampa, with the Jewish immigrant. It marks the beginning of Jewish Argentine literature. It says, all those millions of immigrants, they are part of Argentina. When the book is published, Gertrunov lives in Buenos Aires and works as a journalist for the much-respected La Nación newspaper. He is the first Jewish author to write in Spanish instead of Yiddish. He publishes several other books and helps create the Argentine Hebraic Society in order to protect and spread the Jewish culture. Basically, it is an institution whose objective is to support and spread the Jewish culture as well as universal culture. Alberto Gerchunov was a part of the Hebraic society during its first decades. He was sort of an intellectual spokesperson for the institution. He would be part of every major event and would be the host when we received important guests here, such as Albert Einstein, or Stefan Zweig. Stefan Zweig. During the 1930s, Gerchunov became very worried about the rise of Nazism in Europe and started fighting it tirelessly through speeches and articles. He was also worried that in Argentina itself, some groups were supportive of the German Nazi regime. Alberto Gerchunov died in 1950, but 23 years later, Another controversy arose as an Argentine filmmaker decided to turn his book, The Jewish Gauchos, into a movie. When the censorship committee examined the movie, they said that the movie could not possibly show how the son of an Argentine gaucho was defeated by the son of an immigrant. So they had that scene deleted, else the movie would not have been allowed in the movie theatres. It is interesting seeing how the old story of mistrust towards migrants, 70 or 80 years later, was still present in some parts of the ruling class. Through his work as an author, as a journalist, and as an anti-Nazi activist before and during the Second World War, Gerchunov became the father of all Jewish Argentine writers. Today, his legacy is kept alive by the Argentine Hebraic Society he founded, but also by his very well-known publications, such as the Jewish Gauchos. This is Julian Ferrat for JN1 in Buenos Aires, Argentina.